Yeah. Uh, sort of introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Anime Stuck. I'll be hosting Slice of Life, Character Design and Anime of the Year this year. I've uh, been a juror for three years, and then I was a host last year, and I'm a host again this year. Uh, I'm Wolf. I've been a juror twice, and now I'm a second host for a second time. Uh, I'm Kanzion. I was a juror last year for the first time, and I'm hosting for the first time this year. I'm doing. Uh, I'm hosting drama, dramatic character, and movie. With a f and I'm doing a movie with a few other people, so hosting with a few other hosts, so that should be fun. And uh, that person over there uh, that's having a few technical difficulties still is uh, right over the bed. Uh, we usually call him Dance, so we will probably call him Dance mostly. But yeah. Um. So to sort of talk about some of the changes that we have this year. Um, well, I guess first we should sort of explain uh, the awards. Uh, so, of course, we have it divided into two parts. We have the public and then we have the jury. Uh, the public, of course, is a very straightforward vote where people vote for their favorite shows in each category and whatever has the most votes wins. The jury is more uh, involved as a process. Uh, jurors are, of course, uh, selected through the application and then get to discuss uh, the anime in categories with other jurors. These uh, discussions go to a vote where they uh, can uh, sort of be able to vote for their favorite things in a ranked voting system after discussions, uh, both for nomination and then for, uh, for the final rankings. Um, so with with the uh, juror applications, um, probably the biggest thing that we should talk about is what all is involved in being a juror and why why people should be jurors. Uh, I've I've really enjoyed the juror process. I mostly joined because I'd been sort of a lurker on the anime community for a long time and wanted to find a place where I could discuss with other. Uh, our anime members uh, talk about anime and whatnot in a more involved setting, uh, sort of centered around a central activity. And I found that the Our Anime Award was the perfect place to do that. It was a really great place to have productive discussion and also kind of have my voice heard. And I enjoyed it a lot. I, I'm still enjoying it, of course. Uh, and I love it enough that I wanted to become a host and sort of be more involved in that process. Yeah, I mean, I was a juror for the first time last year, and I think I applied for a lot of the same reasons you did, just wanting to discuss with people um, and just, like, have a way to, like, really talk about anime, go more in detail than maybe just, like, leaving a comment on a discussion thread. Or, you know, I, I was a worker, and this is a new account, which is why I chose, like, a month old or something. But, um, you know, just, like, leaving a discussion on a... Uh, comment on a discussion thread, hoping someone sees it. This is a more like focused way you get actual discussion back and forth and uh, feel like you're contributing to something, feel like you're doing something, you're getting your voice out there, you're making your points and people are going to listen, they're going to, you know, take into account what you say. So to uh, sort of get into some of the uh, stuff for this year. Um, of course, we've made a few few changes. Uh, we're trying out uh, the open juror system, which is sort of a less committal, uh, easier to get in uh, area of the awards where uh, people can, um, if they don't have the time to fully commit to a category, but still want to know what the awards are about, uh, they can pretty easily get into that and sort of learn more about the awards, become more involved, um, possibly if they end up having more time and want to uh, be involved, become jurors if, uh, you know, because sometimes jurors drop out or whatnot. Um, all kinds of ways to be involved as well as uh, helpers and whatnot. Uh, that will happen eventually. So do we want to move on to sort of talking about the genre allocations and shows that we 
and uh, either enjoyed so far this year or yeah we can talk about a lot of the genre allocation stuff um i i think that i'm now working so, oh, yes, you are. There he is. So the the problem is I have uh, I'm a person with a lot of microphones attached to my computer, and the default microphone is not the one I wanted it to use. So in Chrome, <laughs> I was uh, it was accepting that I had a different microphone, and it was telling me that that was the microphone that was being inputted, but I had to change it in the system, and now it's working. So apologies. Um, I was very confused at the beginning. Uh, I'm really I, I can apologize because. On, from this side, you don't actually get to see the chat. You have to open it in a different window. So I thought that I was having this beautiful monologue for everyone to listen to, and nobody. Um, and unfortunately, I had no way of knowing that it was going terribly. So I'm very sorry about that. And hopefully, the rest of it will go smoothly. As Stuck has already said, I am um, right over the bed, and I'm uh, normally known as uh, Dance Macabre because that is my Reddit, uh, not my Reddit, my Discord username. Um, and that's where most of what we do um, happens through. Um, I just want to, to add that um, I am very, uh, so we've already discussed uh, a little bit about the awards, but I, there's one thing I really want to stress, which is we are in awards where we have jurors and not judges. People speak to each other. They uh, come to conclusions about the awards. And it's not like you go into a room and get forced to, uh, to talk until you come to a, an agreement, but we are hoping that people come to uh, come to the awards with the, with open minds have come some conversations and actually like you know at the end of the day they maybe learn some different um, ways to look at the things that they've just watched and not just like hate it and just leave um and you know there's some awards that uh, that operate based uh, like the uh, oscars obviously just where you just watch them on your own and vote for which one you prefer but we don't really like that so i just want to emphasize that so uh, if you are, if you do decide to apply, you will be applying to what is a social event, uh, ultimately. So I'm very excited uh, that we uh, that I'm able to now speak. So <laughs> I will get back. Uh, let's get back to the category allocations. I'm very sorry. So uh, who wants to kick us off with uh, things that they're quite looking forward to? Wolf, do you want to have a go? Uh, no, I'm handling the twist stream well simultaneously, so I'm gonna talk a bit less. So, yeah, okay, I would prefer if someone else would take uh, take charge. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, Stuck, you take you start us off then. Um, well, I I'm always excited for Slice of Life. Uh, I've been involved with Slice of Life every single time that I've done the awards, um, and so we have a ton of great stuff this year in Slice of Life. Uh, of course. Um, I think Akebi is probably the most uh, hyped up one. Um, I, I did enjoy Akebi, of course. Uh, my personal favorite so far this year for Slice of Life is probably Slow Loop, which I know is uh, not as well respected, I don't know, because of it not being the prettiest adaptation, but I, I've enjoyed the core themes and characters and whatnot. Um, for a category that I'm not hosting, I'm excited to see if Lycoris can uh, do particularly well, although I, I wouldn't be too surprised if I saw it in character design or AOTY. I don't know. We'll see. Those are probably my most hyped things from this year. Yeah, I think Slice of Life is interesting this year. Um, you know, you have like a cabbie, uh, which I feel like is, you know, but we have things airing this season, Bochi, uh, Yamano Susume, that could, uh, be really interesting there. And then last year we had a lot of the bigger Slice of Life franchises. Uh, this year we kind of have them, but like we have, it's just like OVAs for Bade and non and non non -Bioi. And then, uh, maybe the Yu Camp movie, we'll see if that comes out in time, but Slice of Life, I think it lacks a lot of the big names that it had last year. I think it's still really strong as a whole. Yeah, I think that um, I, I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to see how adventure goes down. I'm uh, the action host, uh, so I really should be talking about what I think is going to happen in action. But I'm kind of interested to see what happens with adventure because um, we have the... Uh, uh, obviously, we have Dungeon 4, um, but we also have Overlord 4, and it would be nice to see those uh, long-standing sequels going up, off against each other. Um, I 
can't remember if Dungeon is actually in action. I think that it is an adventure, though. So it will be those two longstanding um, series going up against each other. And I think that'll be quite exciting to see which one uh, both the public and the jurors think are better. Um, so that's just me. Um, I do like my isekai trash. Um, so I'm always excited uh, to see that. Uh, so sort of uh, address the uh, the chat a little bit. Uh, I see a couple of people talking about Spy spy Family uh, in Slice of Life. Right now it's allocated in comedy. Um, so it probably, I expect it'll probably get nominated there. Uh, I wouldn't be, again, I wouldn't be surprised to see an AOTY either. Um, but yeah, I mean, it definitely has a lot of Slice of Life elements. I mean, but comedy overall, is stacked. <laughs> comedy is absolutely stacked this year, Com yeah. Comedy is really strong this year, and I think that's one of those categories where it's really interesting. You know, we didn't even give it Kaguya this year, and it's still uh, as strong as it is. So Kaguya is in a romance this year for the first time, I believe. Um, but Yeah, comedy. previously, the past couple of times, it has been um, in, uh, in, in comedy, and... Uh, Obviously, uh, it's a very it has both elements of comedy and romance, and so it's always a difficult one to allocate. But uh, uh, this year, it, it was one where we decided that it had to go to romance. Um, I think that it was uh, the, the right allocation. But romance is pretty uh, stacked as well. We have um, uh, Marin as the obvious contender for uh, Kaguya. So um, I don't think that. Um, about Bistol. <laughs> pardon? Bistol. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that there's... Um... Yeah, I think so. There's a there's a lot of there's, yeah a fair few things that we can uh, do. So, do we have uh, some questions that we want answering? I see in uh, in a chat that, that there are some questions that we should be answering. So. Uh, to answer, an anime can only be nommed in one category. Uh, it can be nom nominated in one genre category, uh, but it can be nominated for multiple production categories, it can be nominated for multiple character categories, and it can be nominated for uh, whatever main category it's in. So uh, even if it's in one genre, it still has other categories that it can be nominated in. Let's see, what other questions do we have? Yeah, looking around at questions right now. Um, and if you're wondering where we're taking these questions from, if you look at your, if you look towards the bottom of your screen, there's like a little chat bubble, and that'll open a new tab with like uh, the link to the uh, Reddit thread, where. Uh, you can kind of post comments, and uh, we'll try and get to any questions that you guys have there. Also, if you're watching on Twitch, we can try and take uh, questions through the Twitch chat as well. I believe Wolf was monitoring that. I don't see any questions there, thankfully. Ah, I see. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> because one less thing to juggle. That's what I mean. <laughs> but if someone asks there, I'll try my best to, to relay I... it to you. We we do have a couple of people with uh, hands raised, so uh, maybe we should take an, a question from somebody there or an input from somebody there. Uh, um, uh, yeah. I do have one more question I can answer. Oh. Uh, someone asked, uh, when is the year considered end? So they're asking, like, anime that released in mid-November, when can it be nominated? Um, nominations are based on when the show completes. So when a show, the show that... is subtitled. Yes, so it has to be finished by the end of the year. So for example, um, what's a two core show that's airing right now? Blue Lock. Yeah, Blue Lock, uh, yeah, is, Blue Lock is uh a two core show right now. So that's not gonna end until next year. So we'll not be eligible for this year's awards, but it will be eligible for next year's awards instead. We also have a question from the Twitch chat asking about what genre categories there are. Um, so our genre categories, we have, what, seven genres? Yeah. Action, Action. adventure, comedy, drama, romance, slice of life, suspense. Did you say yeah, adventure? That's 
I believe. Yeah, we said adventure. Okay. Uh, so we ha so those are all of the genre categories that we have for awards this year. And now I guess we can take people. If anyone yeah. wants to raise their hand and chime in with something. Uh, okay. So some net three two two six. I'm inviting you now. Uh, if you have a comment or a thing, please just accept the invitation. Um, and okay, brilliant. Hello. Hopefully your mic works. Yeah, hello. Hi, Hi we can hear you. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just glad I got you um, got came to join because I was learning how to come into the chat with one of you guys, and I'm just glad you accepted uh, the invite. Well. Like, I'm just glad I got an invite. And what y'all were talking about, uh, I just have an agreement to, uh, about any anime. Like, oh, yeah, earlier earlier this year, or was it last year, they made a second season of Era Farida. Uh, and mm -hmm. it was yes, really that was this year, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah, because if you guys heard of Isekai Quartet, the, with the word quartet after, after Isekai, they just barely yeah. made a chibi crossover between Overlord the, and Konosuba, Tanya, and ReZero. Uh, uh, Vic McNona played yeah. Edward uh, Elroy, and Vail Flanagan, nah, an old woman who played the voice of Naruto Uzumaki, and then Johnny Young Bosch plays Ichigo Kurosaki, and then Colin Clickenbeard, who is also a female that played Monkey D. Luffy. Um, and yeah, also, the, uh, we're going to have to pause my popcorn. Nuts to Dragon Neil from Fairy Tale. Because those, those are just given out so far, not to do it, not to explain so many names, that type of example. Yep. Um, and Sorry, and I'm like, going to have to cut in here because we, we we do have some other people that we want to give the opportunity to talk. Um, oh, yeah, sure, you sure. clearly have a take lot. Your time. I'll, a, a lot take your time. Take your time. Um, and it's very exciting to hear people who have a lot of enthusiasm for uh, the awards and for the uh, people who put their time into actually operating them. Um, I am going to be inviting Mutumbu sixty nine. Uh, if you would like to speak, please be PG. Um, 13. Um, <laughs> and thank you, uh, Sumnet, for, um, for, for your comments. Hello, Matumbu69. Do you have any comments? Uh, okay, it's possible I think that he's these... working on his mic. Um, mm -hmm. To answer one of these uh, from the chat, uh, what about situations with canceled shows like Uncle from Another World this year? Will they be el eligible this year? Um, if it ends up actually being canceled, cause, because uh, I'm not 100% up to date on the news with that, I thought that it was sort of like it got moved to uh, basically just to the fall season. If it ends in time, then it'll be eligible. Uh, if it doesn't, then probably not until it finishes. If it actually does get canceled, then uh, we would probably make it eligible, I would guess, since it's technically finished. But anyway. Yes. So it looks like Matumbu has sorted out his mic. Do you, so what, what are you wanting to say? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hadith ilaykum hadith yahtaj kulla zawj. I'm really sorry for muting him, but unfortunately, I don't speak the language that he was speaking, and I don't know if that actually, um, uh, like, either A, followed the rules of, um, of Reddit, nor the rules of r slash anime, so I'm really sorry, but I am going to have to cut that off. Um, and I'm going to be inviting Polar Star. Um, it's live, so this sort of thing will happen. Um, uh, it's quite entertaining in its own way. Um, thank you for your comments. I'm sure that uh, anyone who could understand them was very excited to hear what you were saying about anime. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, it, it is, um, yes, uh, people speaking in uh, different languages. It's uh, quite an exciting time here. Uh, Polis, uh, Polari Star, Polari Star, of course. Okay, it, he might be having some mic problems. Okay, he's left. Um, 
Okay. I, I think we can move on from questions now. I think we can um, move on from questions for now as well. I'm sorry for people who still have their hands up, but as you can see, this has not been an easy technical time here. Huh? Um, that was very entertaining. I'm very sorry. Um, uh, oh, we did have one question I wanted to answer. Someone asked how they could join on Twitch, um, and it's just going to be twitch.tv slash anime awards. Mm -hmm. This is just a stream of this talk, so... Basically, you can he listen to it from there instead of here, but there we, there isn't anything there. It isn't here, basically. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, just watching through a Twitch stream instead. So now that we've um, covered the, uh, I, I think, the exciting discussion of... Um, uh, of, of Am I here? Am I um, here? Hello, who is it? Can you hear me? I, can we yes. Hear it's weird because you're not shown at the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I'm actually on my phone because I'm on a slow period. I'm at a slow period at work. I'm not like at my mic. I don't know if I'll be home in time for my proper mic. Actually, you're, you're fine. Um, what, what was your uh, question? Okay, um, my... I've literally, I've literally forgotten. Give me a minute to try to remember. I, I won't take up your time. Okay, no problem. Uh... But while while you try and remember, then perhaps we can talk about what we're about to. We'll, we'll talk about in a second. Um, where we need to have a quick. We'll have a quick discussion about what jurors um will uh, will do. How um. Oh, that, how... I remember the question. That's it was okay. about jurors. Okay, my okay, question then is. Go about... ahead. Perfect timing. <laughs> Okay, my, my question was basically, um, how much um, have, do the jurors have to have expected to watch the join? Because there's no way I can watch literally everything that came out this year, and I would not try. Yeah, we don't expect jurors to watch everything. Um, we don't even necessarily expect all you know, jurors to check out all of the anime that are uh, like, eligible for their category. We usually do try to have at least a few jurors check out each eligible uh, anime, of course so that we have at least some people on each one. But uh, the only full requirements are that you check out shows that are shortlisted and uh, need to be discussed. And then, of course, you have to watch to completion anything that, that gets nominated. Um, which, if you're in one category, especially, um, like... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just uh, got... Uh, right, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll take over while you uh, it's Polis, Polaris Stark. If you are actually you know I'll just I'm just going to mute you um, and because at the moment um, we can hear you sneezing. Noise. Um, um, yeah. But to to continue, sorry. Um, basically, uh, we want to if you have just one category, it's not uh, as much work. You still, of course, have requirements for discussion and watching, but. Some categories, like production categories, you don't have to go into the prereqs because you're mostly judging those production elements like character design or animation or OST. Uh, and also, if you're just doing a single genre, then you only really have to worry about shows that are in that genre. Um, main categories are a bit more work since you have to cover pretty much everything that is in those main categories that anyone might shortlist uh, or otherwise might get nominated either by the public or by other jurors. So uh, if you're looking for sort of a low requirements, low maintenance category, uh, those sort of do exist. We also have, of course, the open jurors, as uh, mentioned before. That's something that you can do to uh, sort of get into, you know, the idea of what awards are like. If you're still sort of unsure, you can try out do it being an open juror, and that will make it a lot easier for you. And if in the future you do want to continue with the R Anime Awards and doing juror stuff, then you'll have more opportunities and more experience with it. To yeah, elaborate on that a little, uh, basically there isn't like a hard and fast rule. It depends on, on everything. Like if you're someone who watches 20, 30 shows per season, then by the time you join the awards, you'll probably won't have too much. 
I won't have to watch much else because you'll already be covered. Maybe you'll have to check out one or two shows and even then you probably won't have to like watch all of them, just maybe a few episodes to like see what they are about and, and how they look and what the story is and what the writing is in general. Whereas if you're someone who watches maybe fewer seasonals, maybe just like, you know, five or six or maybe you don't watch seasonals at all, then it can be a lot because even with, uh, even if you only have to check out like a few episodes before the, before the nominations, you still have to like know what the story is. So for example, if it's a sequel, then you need to know what happens before that sequel, which might mean watching a recap movie, or if those don't exist, then you might even need to like watch a previous season in its entirety. So to summarize, there isn't like a hard rule of how much we expect every juror to watch. You just join a category and see what you already saw, see what you have to see on top of that. And then you can decide if you can actually handle that or if you figure out actually this is unfortunately too much. I don't have that much time. Maybe I'll try a different category or maybe I'll just drop this one and and stay in my others. Yeah, um, I wanted to say like as an example, I had not seen much of anything. I think I came into last year with one or two shows seen for Slice of Life and uh, and uh, Prevex in terms of prequels in advance, so, but I was able to manage at least one category pretty fine. Um, obviously, it'll vary by person. You know, people who do like four or five categories are going to have a lot tougher time than someone who's just doing one or two. But I think this year we have made some changes as well that'll make it a little bit easier to manage the workload compared to at least last year, where last year we had people, you know, you had to watch every show that was uh, at least shortlisted, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But you had to watch all of them just to vote for nominations where now uh, you don't need to have watched all of them and they'll just ch you just won't be able to vote on those exactly. It's a real challenge trying to find the balance between making everyone watch as much as possible um, and making it so that we can confidently say, you know, this show, even though not many people watched it, it's good. It, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a show that has uh, that didn't manage to find mass appeal, but it was good. Um, and the the flip side of um, you know ha letting our jurors have lives, um, so we try and be nice and let them have some, but not too much of a life. Um, and so previously, just uh, as I I kept a spreadsheet of what I had to of what I watched last year, um, and I did check before I came on um, the the show. Uh, there was about sixteen. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. But I I think I've I've taken up enough time so you can drop me ah fair enough um yeah i mean uh your question did very much align with what we sort of wanted to talk about next so but we appreciate yeah, the question it was a fantastic question thank you very much I the last three minutes so i'm sorry oh you're totally fine yeah, we are. The reason we decided to do a live show is to be able to answer questions that we otherwise didn't necessarily expect. Uh, so we're quite happy to answer people uh, the, those kinds of questions. If you do have questions, please throw them into the chat. As you may have noticed, we've had some technical issues, and so we're not going to be accepting people to speak uh, because we are worried that if we do, we might have more technical issues, and it'll just be easier to answer questions that are written in text. Um, you can uh, do yeah. so by clicking the speech bubble at the bottom. Um, and that will allow you to uh, speak outside um, into the, uh, and we will be able to see them. Okay, sorry. I, I do want to answer this uh, question real quick. I want to help with the dev side of things. How can I help? Um, we generally uh, do this through the helper form, which will go up uh, later in the awards process. Um, I uh, am not personally in charge of the, uh, the dev stuff, so I'm not 100% sure uh what the criteria is on that um no in but, some view framework essentially yeah um so i uh but we are always looking for people to help out we absolutely love all of the helpers they have been so incredibly uh just they, they've helped in so many ways i know i'm using that word too much <laughs> but uh we, we really wouldn't be able to do the awards without these people that contribute both dev stuff, proofreading, uh, live stream help, editing, all of that. It is, 
just core to the awards and we very much uh, appreciate all of the help that we can get with that. Uh, so Will there be coming. a music category? Um, does someone else want to handle this one? I feel like I've been talking a lot. Um, I will just quickly answer the will there be a music category. Um, I, it, and I'm not entirely sure what you mean by this, so I'm going to answer in two ways. Firstly, there will be an original soundtrack. Um, there will be also a music special category, and special categories are the new categories that we've made for Open Jurors, which is um, a kind of uh, a, sm a smaller time commitment. The Open Jurors uh, will own uh, uh, the special categories will only run for about uh, two months from when people join. They're more laid back, they're more casual, there's not going to be uh, as strict uh, requirements on uh, discussion days, etc. It will just be that you can contribute a little and at a certain point then we will narrow down and uh, invite people who have been active and enjoying these categories to, uh, to if they uh, and if they want to, they can then watch all of them and vote if they if they watch all of them. And so this is uh, these this is the music category. That's the special category. It is a genre, so it's like idol um, show, uh, idol shows, etc., um, and other shows which relate to music in some way, like um, your boy Kong Ming, uh, which was very exciting. Uh, I really enjoyed that this year. I'm sh I know that other people did as well. So um, it covers. Uh, a quite eclectic, uh, not eclectic necessarily is the wrong word, a variety of different genres uh, as a special category. Um, yep. Just to correct something real quick, um, I don't believe that we made watching all of them a voting requirement for special categories, So, uh, because uh, one of the main goals is sort of a lower maintenance uh, category. Yeah, okay. I mean, there will be an Sorry, expansion yeah. that you've watched, like, you know, a fair number of the things, at least the things that are being actively discussed, we, you know, want to make sure people are just like, not just like watching one thing and then not, and then only voting for that, but there's not going to be a hard, fast, like watch everything requirement. For the special mm -hmm. categories, um, sure, yeah. specifically. Um, let's see. Another question. Uh, if first core of a split core finishes this year and the second and next, will it be considered? It will be considered for next year. We try to uh, base this on the end dates rather than uh, on the start dates. So something that finishes next year uh, would be considered for next year. But if it's two separate seasons, like if on my anime list and Annie list, it's listed as two separate seasons that aired in different seasons, then that first core would be considered for this year. So like, you know, Attack on Titan final season has been split into three parts and we've included it every single year uh, because it's been eligible. But um, obviously that season has been drawn out uh, over a very long period of time, uh, despite being quote unquote one season. So I hope that that uh, sort of answers it. It's mostly based on how, how, how it continuously runs rather than based on uh, the uh, when it starts. Yeah, that's correct. It is that if, if there is a core in between and it is still the same year, then it would be eligible this year. We, uh, last year, for example, Cardfight, Vanguard, Overdress, uh, a not very popular uh, show, but one that I remember running on a split court, um, it had a, a, a gap in the middle, but it was uh, considered as one entry. We try and combine things where possible, so people, so shows, so you don't have the absurdity of like two different shows that are basically the same, just split with a core in the middle being nominated separately. So Spy uh, Family will be one entry, it won't be considered as two, um, for example. Um, but also, like, we had 86 last year, which you know, we were going to combine into one entry, but since the second core ended this year, it is separated. The first core was eligible last year, second core is this year. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, that is correct. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think when we answered the question, we talked a lot about the uh, Joe workload, um, but I think we can talk a little bit more about just, like, what Joe's do, how everything works from the jury side of it. Yeah, I think that, that that's that's a good idea. So really, you know, when you join, um, you'll be you'll be welcomed with those living arms from uh, by um, all of us into uh, into a discord uh, where you will uh, be given access to a spreadsheet, which will tell you 
all of the shows that uh, for a genre category that are eligible or just all of the shows of the year that are eligible if you're in a production or anime of the year category. Um, and uh, at, the, at the beginning, you don't have to watch everything. You just need to have some discussions amongst yourselves to figure out what exactly you want to watch. Um, and uh, because there's some things that you will know, you know, uh, I have not finished watching Licorice Recoil. And if I was in, uh, and, and so I would know that if I'm going to be doing anime of the year, I would discuss with my fellow jurors and say, yeah, I'm going to probably expect so that I need to watch all of this, even if it, uh, it might be a public vote, for example, um, and so. Uh, but it's a generally popular show, so things like that people might discuss and say, "I'm I'm going to plan on watching this, uh, and I'm plan on checking out that." And then once you've had a bit of these discussions, you'll start making your shortlists. You get a short number of anime that you're allowed to shortlist for each category, um, things that you just think are the best in the category that you will, which by nominating them, everyone else is expected to check them out, and you will encourage them to by. Uh, dropping your write-ups or having conversations about them. And then uh, it's discussion days. Maybe Stuck, you want to walk people through the discussion days? Because I remember doing your discussion days last year. Yeah, so um, the way that I sort of structured discussion days, and I think that the way that we're sort of looking to... Uh, I think that we're a bit more freeform this year. Um, I think that we're going to be doing a bit less uh, focus on specific uh, discussion days um, and sticking to those as much. But the way that I mostly did them was I created sort of discussion questions. Uh, I usually did this after watching the shows or conferring with hosts that had uh, watched the shows that could help me with uh, discussion questions. And then I would post them on the discussion day and sort of have uh, jurors answer those questions and then hopefully that would generate discussion. Uh, and usually it did. Uh, they were able to sort of find different commonalities or differences in their opinions uh, from a variety of different angles and find ways to talk to each other about it. I think that we're trying to uh, move a little bit more towards JAG's system, if I remember correctly, uh, mm -hmm. in some ways where he focused a lot on taking other juror opinions and sort of saying, you know, this person uh, feels this way about this show. You've indicated that you have a very different opinion. I would like you to, to discuss your differences and opinions so that we can come closer to an understanding of those other viewpoints. Um, and I think that that's a uh, really good way to do things. But for sure, and um, I mean, if I remember correctly, Jags, uh, the 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 system will uh, with the Jag system, which we probably will be following largely this year is also encouraging if you haven't said something about something and somebody has written a great writer saying hey this other person said this you've not responded to it do you agree or do you disagree and trying to get people to challenge their own opinions and what they think about the anime and whether or not they, they might move it up or down in their personal rankings when it comes time to voting um for um yes um now this year we are trying to uh, we're moving to a more of a consensus and a uh, discussion to nominate things this year. So um, previously we've had, a, uh, last year we had a long period of discussion, but then it came down to people's individual votes about which uh, juror uh, shows got nominated. But this year um, we're encouraging uh, the conversation to flow naturally. And once it's come, uh, the, the jury has come to some kind of consensus about which which shows are their favourites? Um, uh, one of their favourite four, because uh, or five in uh, main categories, um, because the nominations are split between public and uh, and uh, the jurors. Uh, we will lock them in, and so the idea is that when things are being uh, dis uh, 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 when people agree on things, the uh, the host will move in and say, "You've discussed this enough for now, and we can return to it once you've got nominations." And that's really when crunch time begins. Kens, do you want to explain the the hell that is trying to finish watching everything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do want to clarify one thing. We've talked about consensus. Uh, if obviously, if a jury can't agree on what they're going to nominate, they are still going to go to a vote, and we do have the voting systems in place. So you know, if a jury can't say, "Okay, these are the four or five things that we all want nominated," then they're just going to have to vote on it like uh, they have in previous years. So, but we can talk about nominations week. So the first thing that's gonna happen on January 1st, public nominations will open. Everyone's gonna have a chance to go on animeawards.moe, vote for what they want in all of the categories. And as a host team, we'll 
take a look at the votes. You know, what, uh, whatever shows have the most votes or characters in, for character categories, those are going to be the public nominations for that category. And then the juries, they'll have their nomination. They will be informed, OK, these are the public noms for your category. So uh, you know, from the list of things that weren't nominated by the public, what do you want to nominate? What are we going to do for that? And uh, once the jurors decide that, we have a full list of nominations. Each side, the jurors and the public, get the same amount of nominations for the category, either four and four or five and five. And then from there, every juror has to watch every single show nominated to completion. Uh, they don't have to watch everything that you know is being discussed, but everything that is officially nominated has to be watched to conclusion. And you have about two weeks to do that. Obviously, a lot of the work is going to be done earlier, where people are going to be watching a lot of these shows naturally over discussion. But you do have that two, three week period where you have to watch everything, make sure you're done, discuss it before, and discuss it before you get to the final vote, where the jury is going to get together, make their final uh, decision on. Hey, what do we think wants first? What do we think gets second? So on. And then the public can have their, their own public vote as well. So yeah, that's um, that's what it is to be a, a juror. And you're not actually finished really the moment that the uh, the results are in. Um, even though I, I will be honest, last year I was a little, um, you know, I was a juror last year at the end. Uh, once you've finally finished watching everything and you've got the ranks in, um, there was a lot uh, of people kind of check out. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, mentally, you're done. You've watched a lot of anime. Uh, the ranks You've definitely gotten through the worst of it. Yeah, the ranks don't necessarily always reflect every single thing that you feel happened in, co in conversations because people change their minds, um, even towards the very end. Um, but even saying that, you know, normally the, the top few do reflect discussion. And it's normally, you know, I was upset because even though some of the shows that I really prefer didn't win. And that does help. There's still one task left because you um, you have to do write-ups. And this is just the task of taking everybody's, the jury's opinions and writing them down um, and saying, uh, this is what we collectively uh, think about this show. And the write-ups, uh, they are posted alongside the results at the end of the year. So it's an important thing. It's the real thing that is actually going to stand the test of time of the awards in, in, in however long the awards run for, that awards website will still be up showing what the jury thought. That is the, the big takeaway of the end of the, the thing. So it's, um, it, that's the, the moment for, if you really loved a show and felt that, uh, the, uh, the, you, you get to write basically what you, how the jury feels. I think that it's really, um, it's quite a nice but also and cathartic release for uh, for writing all the positives of the show, and then unfortunately you have to write the negatives as well. Um, so yes, I think that uh, that's the and that's the final task, and then you're done. You get to um, uh, you get to stop and leave and never watch anime again for a few months, uh, or if you're a seasonal watcher, uh, straight away. Um, so, but yes, it was very much. Uh, it's 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 very satisfying at the end of the awards. Um, obviously, there is. Uh, the stream as well that occurs, um, which I don't think that Wolf will want to talk about, but Wolf here um, is the uh, the head honcho of the live stream, um, and uh, he is the um, yes, he is de uh, he definitely deserves your uh, your love emotes that you're passing on, um, and so uh, he uh, he will be coming around asking jurors for uh, uh, for clips for their live stream, uh, for the live stream throughout the awards process, um, and be cracking down on, on those of you who, who, who dare not to get timestamps of, of shows that you, uh, of moments that you thought would be stream worthy. Um, so while you're watching the shows, you will uh, hopefully be taking notes of all those times. Um, to clarify, last year we tried to have some fun with the stream. If you've seen it, then you know that we did, did an, a stage thing with like 3D models and sprites, and that was a fun thing to add. But, uh, but unfortunately, not everything worked out. So this year we're not sure quite yet what we'll do. If we'll just use the exact same setup as last year, or if we'll maybe try to add some fun things. So it's it's not set in stone, but you know, if you have any ideas of what could, would be cool to do for the stream and you would like to contribute, then we highly encourage you to apply for the helper form whenever that 
comes out as a live stream helper. Even if you don't want to do like clips and montages, maybe you just have a fun idea for like a, a skit or a bumper to add, then we'll, we'll definitely want to use that. Yes, for sure. And there's also, you know, stuff that we uh, will be throwing onto the, uh, could be go onto the Twitter um, as well. If you're a picture editor and maybe aren't good at moving images, then there's still a place for people who have like talent and a love for anime who who want to share that love through the awards. If, uh, we've got a question from the Twitch for the nom lock-in. Do we need to have 100% consensus or would uh, uh, something like a super majority be enough? Um, we... Uh, I think that a super majority generally would be enough um, from the discussions that we've had, and it will depend on a on a case by case basis. Um, if uh, one person is truly vehemently opposed, and there's a lot of people who are very middling on it, and but like, yeah, I guess I think that that's much less likely than if six people love it and one person is is very uh, is very opposed. Um, so it will depend on a case by case basis. It will try to reflect the overall tenor of the conversations and the discussions. So I can't tell you that 100% consensus. 100% consensus is the ideal. I mean, I would, I, I would say if it's very <laughs> clear that it would win a vote, like in 2018, we had three Gatsu in uh, in AOTY, um, and it was very clear very early on that it was going to get a nomination. It had like 10 out of 13 jurors shortlisted it. Um, so we felt very confident that it was going to get in. Um, so we, we moved forward on that and sure enough, it was pretty easy to tell from the shortlist what was going to get nominated, uh, after a certain amount of time, Mine, uh, with not including that last, uh, slot, which was very heavily contested, but otherwise it was fairly predictable when we did move to a vote, what was going to get nominated. I think that in general, uh, we're going to be very cautious with that if it's not, uh, sorry, Sangatsu. Um, I, I think it, we're going to be very cautious with, uh, with making things get, uh, nominated without a vote or without a consensus. But if it's very clear, I think that it's usually pretty safe. And and obviously, you know, once you're actually in the awards, um, it's it's one of those where um, it's uh, it's a lot less. Um, there's there's a lot less ambiguity than it would seem when we're just discussing it like uh, like this. You know, actually, um, there are quite a lot of shows where people will uh, just very quickly after having checked out just a couple of episodes know, yeah, this is definitely one of the best things that we have in our category. Um, and obviously, this is uh, going to be uh, more the case for some categories than others. Um, but it's not usually the case that there are eight shows uh, just that the uh, just that the jury absolutely loves and thinks should be like right in there from right, uh, straight from the beginning. And so, once you take into account the fact that the public noms are going to come out and maybe steal some of those shows from the jury um, and put them in there instead for uh, as a jury nomina uh, as public nominations, then you know, that actually leaves open a little bit more than, yeah, sorry, stuck. Uh, I, I was just unmuted, sorry. <laughs> I was I was going to comment after you'd finished. Um, yeah, it's it, almost always the public ends up nominating, nominating something that was shortlisted at some point. Like, we almost always can take stuff off of our shortlist because the public nominated it for us. Uh, I have several years just been able to clean up my whole shortlist because everything got nominated already. Uh, and that's always a good feeling, honestly. It is nice when the public agrees with uh, with how we, how the, the category feels. Last year in Slice of Life, um, we, we spent many hours uh, of worry and concern that some of the shows that we didn't like so much might get public nominated. And in the end, uh, the public basically just nominated uh, four uh, four shows that I think we almost certainly would have nominated ourselves if we did. Yeah, every uh, single public two. nomination for sure, for Slice of Life was a jury shortlist at some point last year. Slice mm -hmm. of Life was very happy. Oh, we were we were ecstatic for sure. Yeah, um, and that's so... going to vary by category. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I remember in some categories it was like, okay, only one thing from our final shortlist got public nominated. So and, you know. 
the other yeah, four. We didn't like have shortlisted. A jury of seven people. It they might devi- deviate from like the consensus of you know the thousands of votes that we get. Yeah, and 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 some of it will be that um you know that because jurors are expected to be to sit down and discuss anime almost endlessly for several months. Um, that some things that are great uh, to begin with, you know, after you've spent three months discussing them, you actually, you're no longer as keen on them as you were at the very beginning. And uh, some of the things do come up and uh, take you by surprise that really uh, live up to three months of discussion. Um, and so that's quite, yeah, sorry, stuck. you had some, yeah. Okay, no. I, I'm uh, really not trying to cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, um, it's fine, go ahead. Uh, I, I was just uh, gonna say like, you find a lot of new things to love and appreciate while doing awards. Like my first year, I sort of went in, I'd only really seen Soriori and Your Camp from AOTY. And I ended up like with a bunch of new favorite shows to sort of talk about and chill and uh, discuss with my fellow jurors. And that's honestly one of the best things about the awards is just, you know, it, they, they, there is the big recommendation list that you get with the uh, the results, but you not only get this big recommendation list, which is larger with the short lists, um, but you also get to talk about it in a space with passionate, dedicated people that want to talk about anime with you. So that's not only uh, do they want to, but they're forced to. Well, um. they they are forced <laughs> to whether they want to. Uh, I, I mean, I always went in wanting to talk to people. I, I think so, that most people go in mm-hmm. wanting to discuss anime. Otherwise, I mean, yes, they do. why would you be there? Uh-huh. So well, let's, uh, there's a couple of things that we wanted to uh, to quickly mention. Uh, and this is, uh, what one, uh, one was uh, basically what we've changed from the application from that normal and uh, what we want from the application. You know, if you're if you're listening and you want to want to apply, um, we can. Uh, we we want you to be. Uh, we want to arm you with the information you need to be able to put in a good application. Um, so previous years, um, there's been a question the, uh, for every group of categories. So genre categories, um, uh, the production categories uh, got split by visual and sound, and then you had uh, um, opening and ending category, and then uh, there was a character category question. And th- this year, we've decided to change tact, and we're giving you material. We're, we're trying to emulate the awards, um, uh, the awards as much as possible. And so we're just giving you an anime. It's just a short. Don't worry. It only takes. Uh, it, it's, it only takes about. Uh, five minutes to watch. I think uh, this one is five and a half minutes, maybe. Um, and or you can instead watch two uh, music videos, or you can instead write about one of your favorite characters. And we've we've decided that we make it as easy as possible for everyone. You can either talk about your favorite show or talk about something we've provided for you. Um, different uh, categories do require uh, different conversations, uh, di- uh, different questions, but. If you're applying to a genre or if you're applying to um, a visual production category, you can answer any question. Um, oh, no, j- sorry, genre isn't any question. So, uh, check the form. Um, you, uh, you can apply to, uh, and if you're applying to, uh, but the, cho- the point is this application form allows uh, choice. Uh, stuck, please, can you uh, elaborate on uh, the character question? Yeah, so uh, the character question mostly is uh, focused around a more free form answer how you like idea. Uh, you can answer about uh, whatever question, whatever character that you want, um, as long as you're able to sort of discuss the uh, the character in a way that can convince us that you know what you're talking about. Um, we have opened up uh, the requirement for people to sort of discuss production elements to some degree. We want to make sure uh, that people, when they enter discussion with other jurors, are able to talk about uh, production elements because we've had a lot of times where people will sort of disregard production elements or whatnot, and we want to have the healthiest discussion environment that we can. Um, as such, you know, character design, character animation, voice acting, whatever production elements you feel like uh, apply to the character uh, that you can talk about, 
you're able to talk about, but of course you can also still talk about narrative elements like development. You can talk about their role in the story. It's a static character. You can talk about how that character is characterized through different things. Um, yeah, there are a lot of different avenues that you can take with this. So we wanted to give that option of a free form question for people that might not want to uh, stick to such a stringent uh, thing like with the pre-chosen stuff, although those do still have plenty of options for you. Kans, would you like to uh, talk about the op-ed? I know that you, um, yep. Oh yeah, the MD question. Um, this also serves as our OPED question, which, uh, you know, because uh, we're basically just testing. You're gonna be given two music videos, um, and you're just gonna we want you to you know compare them, tell us which one you like better, and just explain it. Um, because every uh, every question requires a produ some production element. You can talk about you know the animation or the background art or whatever in the music video, and it's just a, in the two music videos. It's just about comparing those. I believe the eligible categories for those are just genre, visual production, and character, maybe? I, I think that that might, uh, I think the character is um, the uh, short movie. Um, character is but, the short film one, yes. And then, uh, but no. The, the, the key no, thing character is, is this one, I think. The, the key thing that's, I, either way, it will be, it's, it is definitely there on the question. Uh, yeah, it's on form. the website. Um. Um, but the key thing is that this year, the reason that we're not providing an opening or ending is that we know that uh, jurors previously have been very good at discussing how an opening or ending ties in to a program. Um, and what we really want to test is, we know that people can who join opening and ending can already do that. Uh, but we want to ask is, how can you do without the context? You know, you'll be watching loads of opening endings of some for shows that you will never have seen, maybe know nothing about. And so you need to be able to judge them in some way, even if you don't actually uh, actually engage uh, with the show at all. And so because of this, we really want people to be able to talk about both how the, music, uh, the, uh, the visuals uh, work and how the music goes with the visual. This is something that, um, that people often don't talk about in the applications. Um, and so that's something that we're very excited that people will uh, be able to answer. Um, so uh, the uh, the final question is a short movie. Um, and uh, Wolf, do you want to talk about the short movie question or do you not? Sorry, but it would be better if someone oh. else did say I wasn't super involved with the application. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I didn't, I uh, was, uh, so, uh, the short movie uh, is, um, it's a nice five minute sh uh, short movie. Uh, you just have to write about what you like and dislike about this uh, this short movie. So it's a nice and easy question. You have pr uh, presumably, uh, you can, uh, you when you know and watch an anime, you presumably know from the very beginning what you like and dislike about it. Uh, once again, you uh, if you're applying to a uh, genre category, um, you do need to include um, a piece a production element so you can talk about anything in the short movie that you like or dislike um it's a uh, quite a cute little uh, five minute um uh, short movie it's not necessarily the best short movie in the world which uh but it, it's it has a, a a nice short story for people to engage with and it has plenty of uh of things of production elements that can be talked about so i think i'm looking forward to reading um uh, what everyone answers uh, for that question. Um, as, uh, you, as it may have uh, seen, we have, uh, so, so one pitfall that is quite common in applications that uh, I want to briefly mention is summarizing. You know, if you're, if you're applying to the, um, the awards, we trust that you've watched the anime. Um, you don't need to tell us, and we've, and we will have seen these MVs and we will have seen the, um, the, the short movie. So, uh, previously, People have been very tempted to, in detail, describe everything about that they think might be relevant to what we um, uh, to the answer. But now, with pro the provided materials, we hope that people will resist that urge. Uh, you won't need to uh, to uh, to summarize anything. It really is about getting straight into the question, um, and hopefully, you know, people will find that a lot easier with uh, these uh, this format of questions. Um, I think that that will be the case. Um, does anybody else have anything to add about, uh, about the application? Pence? No, I, th I think we're going to the application. Um, next up, we just want to talk about some of the major changes to the awards we're making this year. 
and uh, that's kind of the last thing we have to talk about here is just the changes that we've made and how the awards are going to be different this year. Um, I think the biggest one we have to mention is uh, supporting is dead. Um, yes, indeed. The ever unpopular supporting. We kept it around as long as we could. Feel free to drop your Fs in chat. Um, I, I think that it was like first considered to be honestly i think it's always been considered to be removed uh but i remember even after 2018 my first awards hearing people being like do we get rid of the dramatic comedic split or do we get rid of the main supporting split and i th we, we finally did it this year uh i, I don't think that everyone was 100 percent happy with it and uh, honestly i don't know if anyone's really 100 percent happy with it but yeah uh it just has not gotten the support that it needed to and, i uh... think it's it, the, the the numbers have spoken for themselves with as we've discussed in the actual threads uh the uh, the application thread you know we haven't had enough jurors applying to it and we haven't had enough uh, people in the public voting for it which meant that it was unfortunately something that when we were there thinking well we should probably cut a character category that's the one that's unfortunately going to go um so i do want yeah. to just say one thing uh just be, we're kind of supporting character uh supporting category uh supporting characters are still going to be eligible for uh, a dramatic character and comedic character which we've kind of renamed from main dramatic and main comedic to just cover all dramatic characters all comedic characters so supporting characters can still get nominated there but we just don't have that split anymore to, with the uh, kind of questionable divide of what counts as a main character what counts as a supporting character yeah, I think that that is part of the re reason why we've really struggled with the category because um, we get a lot of our data from Annielist, um, and they don't uh, they count seemingly everyone as a main character, um, and so when we're making these decisions of who is a main character and who is a supporting character, it becomes somewhat arbitrary. Um, and even if we use Mal again, it's uh, we're outsourcing that to someone else who we might not always agree with, um, and that means that whenever there's people being voted for. Uh, it ultimately ends up being kind of arbitrary how we go, and we don't want to. Uh, when you end up in that position, I don't think it makes the uh, the categories feel very well defined. It's not like um, every anime has uh, two uh, a, a lead man, a lead woman, and uh, some supporting uh, act, uh, actors and actresses. Like it seems a lot of uh, you know Western uh, TV, uh, Western films very much do have this uh, that structure um and so that means that it ha that is one of the the actual issues because obviously hayasaka a very uh, loved uh, character um is i think on any list treated as a main right so um you know the the fact that there is uh our characters like that who are being uh, shunted to uh well not shunted be the where the, the border isn't uh, well defined for us i think that's a real problem for the cat uh, for the category and why we've part of the reason why it's been got rid of um yeah also sort of we we've had a lot of uh difficulty with it where uh, i think analyst has listed our past three winners as mains uh for supporting so that's uh <laughs> It's it's always been kind of finicky. We're always you know deferring. We're mo we mostly defer to what people want, trying to reallocate things into different places. But there's only so much we could do, so it just made a lot more sense to uh, put it in the uh, just sort of combine them. Yeah. Um. So that's the only cut category. Um. That's the biggest change. I would guess. And then we have uh, two more juror specific changes in the open juror system, which we can talk about now. First is going to be the open juror system, I guess, which is basically a new way for us to allow people to contribute to the awards. I know we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I don't think we really went in depth. Um, open jurors is essentially the way for us to, how do I describe it? People who don't maybe have enough time or, you know, categories get filled up. We do have a maximum number of jurors. You know, they can still join the awards as open juror. They won't have a category, but they will be able to participate in general discussion talks and, uh, like, discussion on the server and participate in special categories and to fill in for categories if jurors drop out. 
And I guess we should talk about special categories with that as well. Um, I, I can. Do I mean, I think that you should uh, lead on the special categories because you've kind of become the special categories guru um, yeah. amongst the hosts. So I know it's more more from you, but I I really think you're the right one to talk about these. Yeah, I, I can do that. Um, special categories. A new thing we're doing with Joe's this year. Special categories. We had Mecca last year with the awards where it was basically just like hosts picked a group of people who they knew liked Mecca shows, had them do a more casual, laid back thing and then vote at the end, and then it was kind of revealed in the live stream. Uh, this year, we're kind of making that, uh, we're kind of doing that, except more universal. It's not going to be private. We're like, OK, we're only inviting these people. Uh, every juror is going to have the uh, opportunity to opt in to one of six special, to basically pick one of six special categories they would like to do. Um, and then it'll be a two-month period. First month will just be you know early discussions, seeing who's active, who's interested. And then after that, we'll kind of cut it down, five it to just the people who are active and contributing in that first month. And then, uh, you know, those people will vote within the bounds of the category on, hey, what do we what do we like? What do we think is the best? And we'll reveal those results at a later date. But it's not as formal or strict of a time commitment, I guess. You know, we're not asking for like strict okay discussion days for this this and this and you have to watch all of you know you have to watch this number of shows or anything like that it's just gonna be more laid back and casual um in regards to the actual categories we're running uh four of which we're running six in total four have been picked by the host team two more will be picked by jurors once the awards open up we'll have a poll with the list and jurors you know will be able to vote from that list which ones do we want to have added and be able to do from that point um the four that we have chosen, we're going to be doing music, um, which is music as a genre specifically. Um, so this will include idol shows, um, things like Pai Kome or such, or any show that really deals with music or anything of the sorts. Uh, even for, if Inuo becomes eligible this year, I think that that would even fall into music. Yeah, Inuo, if that is, uh, if that releases on Blue Bay and gets subtitled in time, which definitely could. Uh, I believe the Blu ray is supposed to come out on December 15th, so we'll see how that makes it time wise. Uh, we have Antagonist. Antagonist was a category that used to be in the awards, got cut. Uh, it's back as a special category. Same with the other two sound design and uh, I think compositing slash art style. I think we voted to just call it to run art style instead. Mm -hmm. So, it, I mean, it, I think that um, that it is uh, a more engaging category. I just wanted to add that uh, people uh, in the audience may remember that uh, antagonist famously um, there is the uh, the essay um, where we tried people... to nominate Antarctica. <laughs> mm -hmm. Antarctica was they wanted to nominate Antarctica the uh, the jurors they wanted to nominate Antarctica to be. Um, the uh, antagonist of the year. So that was quite entertaining. Um, and there is that essay still floating around. Hopefully, um, we can, uh, hopefully, people yeah, can it's find that. On the internet, I'm if sure. you search um, for it on Google. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, listen, all I'm saying is with special categories, being more informal, Antarctica, if, if, if Soyo had come out this year, I think we'd have let Antarctica be eligible. But uh, unfortunately, not that year. The show's not eligible. Maybe we can give it an honorary medal or something. <laughs> Personally, I think uh, that the uh, the tower from Lyco Reco is probably a good antagonist. Ooh. But, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to your essay on that one, Stock. I'm not going to be an antag this year, sadly, I don't think. Um, uh, but, so... Yeah, I do want to just say for the jury vote, jurors will basically just be given a list of however many categories, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll probably take some suggestions from the juries on the first day or two before throwing them the vote with like however many options are given from the host team and then they'll vote on that. And then those will be the last two special categories that we run. Uh, to sort of address a question that we got in the chat. Um, so we got asked about the acceptance rate for the apps. Obviously we don't have an, a, a, any sort of set acceptance rate. Um, we accept people based on score and number of slots available, uh, which, you know, we generally try to accept most people that pass, if not all people that pass. Usually we actually kind of add in people that uh, didn't quite uh, meet the bar sometimes. 
Um, overall, we want to sort of make this as much a community event as possible. Um, so we do try to let in as many people that pass the app as possible. Yeah, basically, we're going to read your apps and decide would this person be good at discussing anime, basically, and score you one out or um, on a scale of one to four. And we'll, we'll generally, and you know, it's all arbitrary. It doesn't matter if the score we agree on is three or four or two or five. Basically, we have a, a sort of vague agreement between hosts of what a level is that we want to aim for, and we're going to accept basically all of those people unless there's so many of them that you know that we would have like 15 people per category then we would have to like maybe not accept all threes but accept only people who had like even higher score but as long as that doesn't happen uh, we don't have like a specific plan on acceptance rate I just... for sure yeah as long as you can put put in an application that is that where you explain how you feel about an anime uh, with reasons and a sensible, reasonable, like in a reasoned manner where we think you, you would be able to discuss anime with other people. Um, and that is the, the real core question. You know, do we, uh, if we invite you, we want to be able to talk to you and hang out with you for three months. Um, it's not just hang out, of course, but because we are going to be talking about anime, but we want to make sure that in the environment of the awards, you will be able to. Uh, enjoy yourself and there's plenty of people who uh, you know if they don't get accepted they could maybe uh, they might be perfectly fine to be in um in here it's just that we weren't confident with that answer that they would enjoy themselves either because you know obviously we don't want to enjoy people who will just be miserable the entire time <laughs> uh yeah i think we're about to wrap up here um, I'd like to just thank everyone for tuning in. Um, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties at the start. I'm sorry that this was a little scuffed. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, so I think that's all from the host team. Yeah, yeah. To thank you all very much for listening. On the YouTube, on the, uh, our Anime Awards YouTube in a reasonable manner. So yeah. if you jo joined us late, you will be able to like, hear the early parts of it. But yeah, we basically <laughs> just outlined the awards. You can find the, um, all of the information in the Reddit thread. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to mention that next time um, we'll be having uh, jurors uh, on to talk about the state of their category and to talk about anime. As we know that, like, Obviously, this has just been an awards announcement. It's been pretty awards focused, uh, so maybe it's not necessarily um, the the same. What the show is going to be every every time, it's going to be more anime focused, and there's going to be a lot more, you know, from the jurors who actually, you know, are there, you know, sharing their discussions and sharing their insights into the anime. And so, hopefully, um, you know, people will enjoy the uh, these discussion podcasts, uh, these discussion shows for, going forward, um, and know that they will be um that yeah but they will be able uh, that hosts uh, not that know what the jurors are thinking i'm really sorry that sentence came out so garbled i was trying to read at the same time it didn't work maybe yeah. uh repeat One it real quick thing. um oh are you gonna repeat something i was yeah. thinking just to clarify just repeat that real quick <laughs> Yeah, to repeat that, sorry. Uh, next time we'll be having uh, guests on um, from the jury pool. So jurors will be able to come on and talk about the state of that category. Um, we really want people, um, if you if you don't want to come on to the show, uh, to this show, it'll be fine. You don't have to if you become a juror. It's just that we want people to be able to engage with what the jurors are thinking and share their own thoughts and have, um, uh, you know, have these shows be opportunities for people to uh, engage overall with the awards process and uh yes so hopefully you, uh, if you're applying to be a jury you'll be happy to come on if not don't worry about it there'll be yeah. somebody else i just want to say one thing before we officially close off uh you know we do have our announcement post on the subreddit right now if you go to hot it is currently what rank 12 um you know there are more people in here right now than it than have uploaded that post so <laughs> Uh, if you could give us an upvote or just, you know, take a look at the application if you think that being a jury is for you, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for listening. Yep, thank you all very much. Hope to see a lot of y'all in the jury pool this year. We're excited for the awards this year, and I hope that y'all are too. 
thank you very much. And this was the R Slash Anime Awards 2022 discussion podcast, episode one. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you've all had a good time. Uh, have a nice night or nice afternoon or nice morning wherever you are in the world. Thank you and goodbye.